Hello, hello again friends and loyal Wolfpack members, Chaos Wolf here and welcome back to the Elite Dangerous 2.2 beta server. And what we're going to be having a look at right now is the changes to the galaxy and system maps. So what we're going to be doing is first of all jumping over to the system map because this is the most local changes in the map system that you're going to be coming across. And here we are. What's changed? Well, you can't really tell anything from here. But what we need to go and do is we need to go and have a look at one of the landable planets. So let's actually go and choose a habitable one. We've got a couple of high metal content ones here. So let's go in and let's actually go and zoom in. Look at that. Now this is actually a full 3D rendering of what the planets will look like when you get up and close to them. So you can actually go and scan them and have a look for interesting features from the system map. So that's really in that's really awesome actually. We can go and see the bases that are on there. We can see the impact craters. We can have a look and see if we can even find some canyons. So let's zoom out of that one. Let's go into this one, see if we can find anything here. Again, this one's pretty similar to the previous one we went and had a look at, but they are in the same system. So that's not really surprising. Does this work for these ones? No, it doesn't because we don't have the blue semicircle around which means they're not landable we've got an ice body ice body ice body basically a load of ice body planets here so we can go and have a look at a couple of these let's have a look at this one because this one is habitable well habited i should say now look at that we've actually got some canyons not sure how big they would be not sure how good they would be for canyon racing but we can actually go and easily scan planets now to see where is a good place for racing go and have a look where the where the settlements are and even it seems see whether they are on the light or the dark side of the planet currently so that's an interesting little feature being able to find out whether they're on the night side of the planet or not so that's cool and i'm not sure if we can actually go and do this but no it doesn't look as though we can uh, no, I was wondering if it was possible to go and mark a set location. Because I thought I heard that was a thing, but it's not. So, oh well. So, I think that's all the changes that have happened to the system map. And I say all the changes, they are quite substantial little changes. And it's very nice quality of life changes that I'm really going to go and appreciate. But, anyway, here we are now in the galaxy map. We can go and see what a few changes have happened over here. Now, one of the things that has changed here is mainly in the filter section. Now, you can see here that I have got things filtered by the KGB foam or Oh, be a good girl, kiss me. Oh, be a fine girl, kiss me even. And the reason I have this is because these are all the scoopable stars. The ones down the bottom aren't. But we have white dwarf stars up as well because things have changed with those. But we're going to go cover those in a different video. Now, this was great for knowing where we could go and scoop and so on from so let's say i wanted to let's scroll out let's go and find and there we go we have a route plotted and you as you can see as we're moving along there's different points of the jump and some of them actually pass through stars that are not scoopable that is now a thing of the past because we have an apply filter to route and what that does is it goes and changes out the root planner so that it only goes and jumps us through systems that have these types of stars in them so no more will we be likely to accidentally run out of fuel because we weren't paying attention to the root planner but not only that there is more to it than that if i wanted and got close to a neutron field i could go and set to non-sequencing stars only and white dwarf stars only and maybe one refuelable star every so often so if i was off in the neutron field i could set it to that and then set it to economic route and i could literally just jump around in that area on economic route just scanning nothing but neutron stars that would be absolutely awesome now i don't need to do this myself anymore because i am already elite in exploration but that is really nice thing to have it's also a great way of finding very specific star classes 
So that is great as well. You could also go and set it to potentially F, G and K class stars, because I believe those are the three types of stars that are more likely to harbor life and in game terms, spawn Earth-like worlds. So if you're really looking for Earth-like worlds, you could go and set those up and try and just jump through areas with only those. Now, it may not be possible. It may be possible because if the route planet doesn't have, can't find a route for you within your jump range with those specific things, it will kind of default to the previous route it found for you. But that is awesome. But then again, that's not the only changes that have changed here. As we can see, we can go and sort by different things. So these are the filters that we have. Currently, I have it set to star class, and that is usually the default one that I have. We can also set it to state, so we can only choose to jump through systems with high security, or potentially anarchy systems, or things like that. Security, state, we could go through war state systems, peace state systems, boom state systems. We could go and do that. Uh, visited stars, this is a new one as well. Basically, you've got not visited stars and visited stars. So let's go and set this so we can see them a little bit more easily. So let's get over here. As you can see, we've got a couple of blue stars, well, a couple of blue dots, and a metric buttload of red stars. Now, the red ones are obviously the ones that I have not visited. So we could go and turn those off, and then we could see all the places that I've actually gone and visited. Although, not very many around here. Not sure if this counts just because it's only the beta server, or it's because it's only just been implemented. But, yeah, that's kind of cool. So, that is awesome. We can actually go and see which systems we've gone and visited. Although, we can't see any more specifics on them. But there we go. That is some really nice changes to the galaxy map. And I'm really really liking these changes. Now unfortunately the change to the applying filter to the star classes may make it that the fuel rats don't have as much work going forward, but I'm pretty sure there will be a place for them in the game. But anyway guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you've liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Neither of those good enough for you, that's what the comments are for. But anyway guys, I've been Commander Chaos Wolf, you guys have been epic, I will see you soon. And until next time commanders, keep flying and stay shiny.